Hello, this video is going to show you how to mod your Sega Genesis Mini by installing Hatchy. Now this app will allow you to add additional games and storage, emulators, and customize the layout of the home menu. So I'm going to show you how to install Hatchy and then add additional titles that did not come installed on the Sega Genesis Mini. Let's start by going to the Hachi GitHub page that I linked in the description below. Scroll down until you see the zip files. We want to download the Hachi 2 CE 3.8.0 release zip file. Save it somewhere on your computer and create a new folder. I'm going to call it Hachi 2 and I'm going to create a new folder because the zip file will contain a lot of files when you unzip it. Once the download is complete, I'm going to put the zip file into my new Hachi folder. Right click on the zip file and then click on extract here. Once done, you can delete the Hachi zip file. Now you can launch Hachi by double clicking on Hachi.exe. When you first install Hachi, you'll get a welcome message giving you some tips on how to use Hachi and some additional information about needing a data transferring USB. Now your firewall may block Hachi, but that's okay. Just click on allow access because it is a safe program. Now I'm going to click on the drop down menu under current games collection and select the Sega Genesis USA. Because Hatchy is the go-to ROM for hacking all the classic miniature consoles, we have to tell Hatchy which console we are trying to mod. Hatchy will then show a list of all the games that originally comes on the US version of the Sega Mini. Next, we will install Hatchy into our Sega Genesis Mini, but first we have to connect the Mini to our PC. You could tell it is not connected because of the red dot at the bottom right and the word offline next to it. So to install, we need to go to the kernel up at the menu bar and click on install slash repair. It will say, do we want to flash the custom kernel? Say yes, we do want to flash this custom kernel to mod our Sega Genesis Mini. You will get a message telling you how to connect the Sega Mini to the PC, which I will do now. So I'm going to switch to my Sega Mini and show you how to connect it to your PC. Make sure it is entirely unplugged. All you need is a data transferring micro USB cord. This is not the micro USB cable that came with the Sega Mini. It has to be a data transferring micro USB. And the only way to tell is to use the micro USB cable on a device and see if your PC recognizes it. For example, like an Android phone. Plug the micro USB cable into your Sega Mini, but don't connect the other end to your PC yet. Put the Sega Genesis Mini into the on position. Hold the reset button, and now plug in the other end of the micro USB cable into your PC. Continue holding the reset button for a few more seconds, and then release. Now I'm going to switch back to my PC view. So once it's connected, it will start installing and will restart the Sega Genesis Mini. You can see now that the Mini is connected because of the green dot and the online message next to it. I'm going to fast forward it. Alright, we now have install Hatchy on the Sega Genesis Mini. Now let's add some backups. I'm going to put up the screen of my Sega Genesis Mini as well. We will start by clicking on add more games at the lower left corner. Then we will have to tell Hatchy where we store our backups. Once loaded, Hatchy will automatically load the artwork and game description. This is what will appear on the Sega Genesis Mini home screen. Also, we see on the top menu under new apps that our backup was added. Now, if we want to add more backups, we can click add more games. Or we can just drag the ROM into Hatchy. Once done, we will select synchronize selected games with Mini. As you can see, the Mini will restart. Now, I'm going to enlarge my Sega Genesis Mini screen and once inside, we will have to scroll all the way down to find our new files. 
You will see this more games menu and when you click on it, we will see all the new files that we added. When we click on it, we will see the artwork and game description that Hatchy automatically generated. And that's it. If you like to use Hashi to customize the whole menu, add more internal storage, or add emulators, then please check out my other videos. Just a reminder for those who prefer to have a written guide, to check out my website, segaminimods.com. It's a simple step-by-step -step guide with picture that goes over everything we cover in this video and much more. So once again, thank you so much for watching.